Hey, what's up guys? My name is Trent and I'm a 2A computer engineering at the University of Waterloo. And today we're going to be talking about design teams and clubs and how you can join them. So let's talk about the design teams first. What exactly is one? Well, a design team is a group of people that just work together towards a common goal. It's simple as that. It could be electric cars, it could be formula, formula cars, it could be uh, rockets, it could be robots. Whatever you can imagine, there's a design team out there. So basically, there's many different roles. You could be coding, you could be designing, you could be leading, you could be management, all these different aspects. So it's not just engineering students that can join these design teams, because you may be a great coder in, in computer engineering, but there may be great drawers in fine arts that can come and join the team too. So just saying that, you're not only going to compete against other universities for prizes and scholarship money, uh, you're also going to meet lots of brand new people and faces that will be great for first year. Um, you're going to learn advanced skills that are actually going to be outside of your program. I remember when I joined the Midnight Solar team, I learned code that I never had seen before and still haven't seen all the way into 2A here. And of course, these are great things to build your resume. Now, with everything being shifted online, there is limitations of how some teams have to operate, but some teams are still going full force. So you're going to have to ask around, do some research, and you're going to have to figure out if these teams are still going. But when you're back on campus, these teams are going to be full force, and you should definitely look into it. So basically, be careful, though, with balancing the design team and your schoolwork. Engineering is a hard you know, faculty to be studying it. But usually design teams are super, super easy going with how much time you want to put in. It goes off of your schedule. I know for mine, they said as easy as a couple of days a week. But if you wanted to be more hardcore, you could do way more than that. Some teams will have a minimum of work they have to put in. But most teams are very understanding. And it's not going to overwhelm your schedule. So there will be a link in the description of a list of all the teams that we offer the University of Waterloo that you can check out afterwards. But now I want to talk about clubs, kind of more my forte. So it's kind of the same idea as design teams, so it's more focused around shared interests. You know, there could be singing, it could be coding, it could be Super Smash Bros, it could be school government like WUSA, uh, leadership, and that's the one I did. I was um, president of residence of UWP, uh, and so basically what that meant is I led a team of about 25 to run events, maintain certain areas of residents and uphold certain values and so basically doing that and being in computer engineering in my first year it was overwhelming i had to figure out how to actually navigate things but once you actually sit down and create a plan uh discuss with everyone how things are going to go and of course stick to a schedule things can get a lot easier and you'll notice that a lot of these things they don't totally consume you it only takes a couple nights a week even for big things such as president of residence so it's really just finding a balance that works for you through scheduling and figuring out what works for you and what doesn't work for you and for me that was planning i would have my calendars on my outlook calendar i have physical calendars reminders and all this and make sure to get things done early and so it's all just about managing time and making sure that priorities are set straight of when this project's due and when can i work on my club and there will be a link in the description for clubs too so hopefully this has been a good insight and i hope these links will help you move forward and see the clubs and the design teams that we offer at university of waterloo and yeah, best of luck with choosing a design team or club, guys. Take care. Hi, my name is Michaela Trevisan, and I am a 2A management. I'm going to talk to you guys a bit today about the benefits of design teams and clubs and what I like about being involved. As I'm sure you figured out by now, engineering is rough. You've got projects, assignments, labs, and quizzes, and it can sometimes feel impossible to get it all done. When I was in my first term of first year, I spent all of my time in class studying or sleeping. It was exhausting, and I got worn out pretty fast. Once second term started, I realized I didn't want to repeat a first term, and so I started to get involved. I became active in a design team, joined engineering jazz band, and I started doing more things with EngSoc. Although I technically had less time to do work than I did before, it didn't feel like it. I could switch gears from working on homework for a bit to something a little more relaxing while still feeling productive. And then when I went back to my homework, I was able to get more done and stay focused. The change of scenery is nice, and it keeps you from getting bored from staring at your lectures all day on the computer. An added bonus is that you can use it to beef up your resume, although hopefully that shouldn't be your main motivation. Another great aspect of clubs and design teams is the opportunity to meet new people. After a week is over, it's pretty difficult to meet people who aren't in your program, as usually your lectures and tutorials and everything are with the same class. Joining other activities gives you a great opportunity to talk to other people that you may miss out on other prize. There are a ton of design teams and clubs to, on campus to get involved in. Everything from lettuce club to concert band to dragon boat racing. Although things are a little more difficult right now with online school, most clubs and teams are still running and doing activities. 
I highly recommend getting involved as it gives you something fun to do and is a way to make your university experience more memorable. Hello everyone, this is Jose Montoya. I am in my 2A term of management engineering and today I'm going to talk to you about my experience getting involved and being part of clubs and design teams. Well, as we all know, getting involved with these kind of activities is a good way for you to become part of the community and for you to find a group here on campus. Um, but sometimes we want to go a little bit further than that and we want to give back to that community. And a great way to do that is by getting involved in leadership roles in our clubs or design teams. Uh, for instance, that is what drove me to uh, become the president of UWBA last year, uh, to be an ENGE play director, uh, to be currently the business manager of Waterloo Formula Electric, and also I am the first year commissioner for ANSAC. Um, and doing all of these is a good way, like I said, not only for you to give back to the community, but really to get more involved with it, because uh, you not only become part of something by attending to it, but rather you are helping make things a reality. You're helping bring things to 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 the people around you, to the other students, and, and you just you just become part of this bigger thing. Um, and it's, of course, more time demanding, definitely. It's going to require a lot more time management that you would otherwise have to uh, to have when you're a member of something. Um, but it is also a lot more rewarding. And I would say it's a great experience. It's not only good for you to develop your leadership, but also it involves working on your teamwork, uh, your organizational skills, and dealing with conflict, different things like that. So it's a good way to work on yourself, but also giving back to that community that you feel so, more, so comfortable in.